All right, I got all my packages that I wanted out today, uh, except one item that I bought today is gonna go out tomorrow. It's really important to set goals. I actually arrived right when the UPS driver was there. So I got him out just in time, 6.40 p.m. <coughs> so set goals, right? Like, think about it. Like, you know, people in college, I don't know why they're in college, but whatever. People in college are taking a test, right? And there's a deadline. Hey, your test is on this day. And then, you know, they're studying for the goal, right? I mean, you've gotta, you've gotta self-impose objectives, right? So my objective was like, all right, look, <clears throat> I'm gonna source big this morning and I'm gonna get all my packages out today. And that was my goal. And that's what I did. And, you know, thankfully I had an employee and I was just like, I just told my wife, Alice, I'm like, look, I'm just gonna have to stay in this room. I'm just gonna have to focus. I'm like, make me some overnight oats and I'm just gonna grab that real fast. And I'm just gonna, and I just plowed through, right? So set a goal, like, 300 bucks this week, 300 bucks today. Any unlisted items that you have and gotten to by tomorrow, all listed, you know, whatever. I'm gonna source for two hours today. You've gotta create a goal and focus and stick with that and accomplish that. And, and, and look, <clears throat> you need to self-impose something that's gonna push you to work your best. If you're not giving your best, you're wasting your own time. Think about that. If you're not giving your best, you're wasting your own time. I remember when I was in seventh or eighth grade, I think it was in eighth grade, and the coach on soccer was like, all right, you're gonna run laps around the field, right? And I saw some of the kids like cutting the corners, right? And then I saw somebody run around the corners, right? <clears throat> and I'm like, why are you running around the corners? I asked one of my friends. And he said, because I don't want to cheat myself. I was like, whoa. All right, I'm running around the corners. So look, let's run around the corners, guys. Let's uh, let's set goals that push ourselves, right? Make one less hour of sleep, right? Get rid of the TV and cable. Cancel Netflix. You know, whatever. Like, how bad do you want this thing, right? How bad do you want it? What price are you willing to pay to have it. That's what you have to ask yourself. What price are you willing to pay to have this? You know? And then pay the price. You know? Like, I understand having like a coach or a personal trainer, right? Like, <clears throat> there are certain techniques and things that you need to learn, right? But let's put that aspect aside. When you have your own business, you're not gonna have somebody who's telling you, do this, do this, do that. No, like you have to self-impose. You have to dictate. You have to say, this is what I'm gonna accomplish today, this week, this month, this year, you know? I mean, my wife Allison had a profit number for the year on her phone for months. And now she changed it to a picture of something she wants, right? And so, <clears throat> every time she sees our phone, right? So like set an objective, set a goal, you know? Don't just get up and be re reactive, right? Most people that work in, 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 a, in a company job are reactive, right? Oh, I got this email in, let me respond to it. Oh, this happened, let me. When you have your own business, you're, you can't just be reactive. You're not gonna make headway. You have to be proactive. I'm gonna get up and do this. Then I'll check the messages. Then I'll respond. I'm gonna get up and accomplish this. Then I'm gonna do that, right? I mean, Allison came to me yesterday. She goes, Jeff, we have to do this. I'm like, whoa, man. She goes, we have to. We have to do the most important thing first. I'm like, all right. That, that's what you wanna do. You wanna do the most important thing first. So go for it. It's your life. It's your dream. Like, no one's gonna do it for you. If you want it, you gotta take it.